Hey guys, what's going on? It's TN here, and um, I sort of want to go away from reviews. I just don't think I like them as much as my tutorials on hacking, mods, tips, tricks, stuff like that. So, again, I'm just going to go away from reviews and lean more towards tutorials, hacks, mods, just stuff like that. And, <clears throat> <clears throat> excuse me. So, Sony is suing Geohot for the PS3 jailbreak, so I'm just going to stay away from PS3 jailbreaking for now. I'm going to go to Wii jailbreaking. I just thought up of this. I mean, I already have a jailbroken Wii, but I'll be showing you guys some tips and tricks on it once you have it jailbroken, like hacking Mario Kart Wii, so you have star power all the time and good stuff like that. But anyways, today's tutorial is going to be on removing the watermark in photos um, in Photoshop CS5 using the new content aware feature so it's really cool let's go ahead and get started so what you want to do is open up photoshop and we just close all okay so go ahead open up the picture that you want to remove the watermark on okay so here's the picture I have you can see I have the watermark over here and let's say I don't like it I don't want it um, I can quickly remove it by the way this is illegal if the wallpaper is um, like a paid wallpaper like someone's actually selling the photo and if you remove it and you use it that's actually illegal it's not illegal if you use it for nonprofit purposes and in case um, in this case it's actually a free wallpaper I found online on interfacelift.com they have some great wallpapers I'll give a link to that down below and uh, I just took it and I added my own watermark to it so I can show you guys how to remove watermarks really quickly really easily so let's go ahead and get started so here's the watermark I want to remove um, really simple we're gonna go over here to rectangular marquee tool don't do anything just drag it over the whole text you don't have to be completely accurate or anything you're going to see uh, flashing black and white lines going around it. Just right click on the text, go ahead and hit fill. And then make sure for contents, it's content aware. For blending, uh, let it stay normal and opacity needs to be 100%. We're going to go ahead and hit OK. It's doing its thing. Alright, so it's gone and you can get rid of the lines by hitting Control D on Windows or Command D on Mac. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Please hit the like button. It's really appreciated. And subscribe if you want to see good content like this. Alright, see you.